Well, welcome back to Channel On. Today I'm going to show you how to build yourself a real basic power supply using an old computer power supply. So uh, if you're into like projects and you need some voltage anywhere from 3.3 volts all the way up to 12 volts, you can get that by just taking apart an old computer that you may, be, may find on the side of the road and take the power supply out of it. So once you've done that, discard the old power supply, I'm sorry, the old computer, and you should end up with something like this. So you're gonna take four screws out of the back of the machine and you're gonna unplug everything and you're gonna end up with a kind of little rat's nest here. So this is super simple to do. Uh, you've got an on and off switch. This is a mechanical switch to turn off the AC. But once you turn on the power supply, you need to trick the power supply into uh, thinking that the computer is there. And this is really easy to do. What you need to do is you need to locate the green wire and the black wire right next to each other. Once you've done that, you're gonna take a little piece of wire and you're gonna short those out. And when you do that, that's gonna tell the computer power supply that it is ready to turn on. And once it turns on, you're gonna end up with uh, multiple voltages. And this is the most common ones I use, is the yellow one and the black one right next to it, it's a ground. And you have the black and then you have the red one, that's your five volts. I use this for automotive uh, testing trailer lights and that type of thing. And I'm, I'm hoping to show that later on in the video. So let me go ahead and plug this in and I'll show you how this is gonna work. All right, so go ahead and plug in the power supply, just like any power supply on the back of a computer. Go ahead and plug it in. And then uh, turn the switch on, that's gonna turn on the AC. And then you're gonna have this uh, bunch of wires right here. And this is the bunch that generally goes to the motherboard on a uh, computer. So you can see that the fan is not turning quite yet. And what you do is you take, and you're gonna cross over the green and the black one, just like that. And when you do that, you see the power supply is now on. All right, so now you got yourself a nice little power supply. So if we go over here to the connector, like I was saying before, you have the yellow one and the black one right next door to it. Okay, that's gonna be your 12 volts. All right, let's go ahead and take your multimeter. And if I put the ground on uh, the black side, my probe, the red over here, and there is my 12 volts right there. All right, so uh, I'm not gonna get into details of what I do with this. I just wanna show you right at the moment that this is very important to, uh, to, to understand how this all works because you may be doing some projects later on and uh, you're gonna be able to uh, just turn this old computer power supply into a nice little benchtop power supply. Okay, so you can see it's running. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just kind of plug this into the 12 volts here and I got myself a nice little 12 volt light. All right, so you can power up lights with this. Um, works really, really well. And maybe you might wanna just uh, power up a little electric motor. All right, so do the same thing. Just kind of put that on the positive side, put that on the negative. And you got yourself a nice little uh, motor that you could run off the power supply. So I'll show you later on what I do with this. Uh, you know, you can do something to kind of neaten this up as well, but that's all you have to do. And when you're done working with it, you can actually just pull the little um, jumper cable off or you can put a switch in there, whatever you'd like, whatever works for you. Uh, you can also use the power switch itself. But what you may find on some power supplies that if you keep this jumped, and you turn the power supply on here, it will not turn on. You have to disconnect this and turn it back on. But I think this one here will allow me to not have to worry about that. So I could just leave that jumper on and uh, just turn the power switch on here. Now what's really kind of neat about these power supplies is in the event that they short out uh, by accident, there's no fuse or anything like that. And let's see if I can cross this. Just try to cross this over a little bit here. All right. So I just crossed it and the power supply shorted and it's off. Normally what you'd have to do again is pull that jumper, turn the power supply off, turn the power supply back on, then put the jumper. But this particular power supply, if I unplug it, I could actually leave that on. If I unplug it, wait about 10 seconds or so, it will discharge the capacitor uh, that's in there on the circuit. And if you plug it back in, you should be able to 
have power again. So this one here is requiring me to reset the jumper. So if I do that, and there you go. So you'll have to do that. So it might be worthwhile to put a switch on here. And now you're back up and going. Now I wouldn't be running a lot, a lot of stuff on this, but I've run trailer lights on here all the time when I'm testing trailer lights. So, well, there it is. I hope you, uh, I hope it helps you with your power supply projects that you may be working with, or maybe you got a project that you need a, a quick power supply. Again, these are on the side of the road all the time, especially on junk day, and people just throw them away. And uh, you've got a nice little power supply. It's not pretty, but you've got a nice little power supply. So, thanks an awful lot for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.